Hey guys, and welcome to the Buy and View. Hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, big up to everyone. If you haven't already, make sure to check out the video we made about Fabinho late um, after this one. We put it out earlier. I've got another video coming out after this one in a couple of hours, and then I've got a stream, a massive stream. Make sure to check it out. It's with uh, Inter Worldwide and Inter Milan channel, uh, and I really, really enjoyed it, and I know you guys will also. Um, so, yeah, if you haven't already, please do smash the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for the constant support, and let's get into this one. So we're going to be talking about Harry Kane yet again. Um, you know, what's the shock there? Oh, wait, there isn't any because we're talking about Harry Kane again. Um, if you can hear uh, background noise in that, my family at home, there's nothing I could do about it. And hopefully um, uh, that's all good. But yeah, let's 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 talk. Let's talk about Harry Kane. Um, so um, Bayern are expected to make a, a new bid, a new improved bid for Harry Kane when Tottenham return from their preseason tour. Uh, and, you know, um, to be perfectly honest with you, um, I, I'm expecting that as well. And if I'm honest, if we just get rid of that a minute, if I'm being 100% honest, I generally think that the first bid was just a hoax. That's what we were doing. We were doing it on purpose just to see if they would bite, see if they would accept it at the end of the day. Uh, I know that there's uh, this is the the whole English bias thing because it's like, oh, um, Harry Kane. Harry Kane is a is one of the best strikers in the world. I'm sorry. So was Lewandowski, and he went for a cheap price. So the fact that they are expecting a hundred million pounds for a, uh, a man with a year left is just Premier League English bullshit biased. And I'm an Englishman. I live in England. Always have all of my life. Um, so you know, if people want to come at me for being a buying plan and that, I don't actually give two shits. To be perfectly honest with you, but at the same time, I understand the Premier League, and that's why at the start I was like. It ain't going to happen because Daniel Levy is a stubborn asshole. Simple as that. He destroys that club. Um, you know, the whole um, Enoch and, and Levy out situation, there's people there's people that are so divided on that. And I'm not going to get into that because um, it's not my club. And to be honest, I couldn't actually care. But um, I'm, that's why I was like, nah, it's not going to happen, not going to happen. And I made that short saying it's not going to happen. And I'm sure when we signed him, someone will make a stupid video saying, um, you know, putting that out and then me celebrating that we got Kane. But whatever. Uh, it is what it is. And football fans um, are football fans. So, um, yeah, Bayern are expected to make a new improved bid. And I think this is now coming after... Um, after the fact that he has now said, I am not signing a new deal with you. I don't want to be at this club anymore. I love this club to death, but uh, I've I've extended way too much. You know, he could have gone to Manchester City and done what Haaland has done. Most definitely remember he was only just behind Haaland uh, in the goal scoring record for Premier League wise. Um, so, you know, he fits in that Man City team 110%. I think he makes Bayern Munich uh, a threat for the Champions League without a, without a doubt. Uh, we should be going for the travel. We should. Uh, and if that means me, me going bold because we win the treble, and fuck it, I don't really care uh, if I'm honest. Um, but yeah, new imp and the new improved bid. Let me let me. I need to go back to so putting that on the screen. The new improved bid is a, a, a factor apparently. Uh, don't care about Nubal. Don't care about Mane right now. Uh, then it come out 23 hours ago. Harry Kane uh, has made it clear to Tottenham that he uh, will not extend his contract beyond 2024. Daniel Levy is now under pressure. Sell this summer or lose him on a free. Talks on going move likely to go through this summer, um, and then I know I know a lot of Tottenham fans get annoyed with this, and I understand. You know, we we were in the same um, position with Lewandowski. Um, you know, Lewandowski is just uh, you know a, an absolute icon of this football club, and I think when he retires, people will will give him that credit. But it's just the fact that he went to Barcelona of all clubs. Um, but on Harry Kane, like I get why they are, are like stay 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 and i get it you know what i mean it's it, it's just one of those but at the end of the day daniel levy can he can be an asshole he can be stingy or whatever he wants but you either lose him to us now and have money for a replacement or um you um lose him for free and he goes to a premier league club maybe chelsea maybe uh, Manchester United. So he wants to win things. Um, I think he probably will come to Bayern Munich, then go to uh, the whole um, Bayern, win whatever we win with him. Uh, hopefully that'll be a Champions League and then go back to the Premier League because that, that generally that Alan Shearer record is like here and he's here. He could literally just reach and touch it now, um, you know, especially with the goals that he scores. Even if, let's say he goes back there at 35, you know, he still can play 
um, even if it's not with Tottenham in the Premier League, and get that goal record um, quite easily. But the only thing is, is it actually worth that? Like, I know the goal record is brilliant. Don't get it twisted. Uh, and Alan Shearer is a top striker. Harry Kane is a top striker of English football. But if Erlen Haaland stays for long enough and keeps doing what he's doing, that record's only going to get smashed anyway. So, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's a weird one let's just put it that way it's a weird one but the reason i'm making this video isn't just because um of the the news that we're putting in a new bid or whatever it's actually because uh apparently uh it's being said that harry kane's wife is in munich now i don't like personal shit never have never will uh you'll never see me going for thomas tuchel's uh wife kids i don't even know if he has a wife and kids um because i don't do personal shit and that's why you don't see my family all over the videos either you know what i mean you know works one thing personal life's another um but this is being posted out there by build so we do need to talk about it it's nothing bad about um his wife or anything like that but it is saying harry kane's wife uh kate has uh, katie sorry has been in munich for the past few days she is said to have looked at the new potential um the potential new home uh, of the family so basically she's gone over to germany looking at the home and so on and so forth in I, i'm gonna butcher this but Grun grunwald i believe is what that says um parts of the kane family have also been there uh, and again this is coming from build uh, i don't think they would lie about this if i'm being 100 percent, because at the end of the day um you know if anyone's gonna know that kane's family's in germany it's gonna be build you know, they are the big source. They are the big, you know, the big um, news outlet in Germany. So it'd be a bit fishy if they were to lie about it. Uh, and then if we were to scroll up, um, it then come out and said, uh, while Kane, while Kane, uh, well, Harry Kane is still on preseason tour with Tottenham. His family is already planning their future in Munich. They've also... Um, why can I not read? They have also already inquired about the international uh, schools for the kids. So, you know, like it looks like it's happening. The fact that they're looking for things for their kids, for their children, for Harry Kane's children, they're looking for a house for them to obviously live in. It looks like it's happening. I don't really know what to say on this, if I'm being honest with you. Um, you know, if any Tottenham fans are still watching this, uh, and you're probably not going to be happy with it, of course, but um, you know, this is just, is what it is. It was the same thing with Lewandowski for us um, and, you know, his wife um, was out in, in Barcelona and we were like, why is she out there? That makes no sense. And she was looking for a house. So it looks like it's going to happen. Um, uh, I know a lot of you guys, uh, as Tottenham fans, have been on many Tottenham channels over the past couple of weeks. Um, you know, aren't going to want this to happen. We didn't want it to happen with Lewandowski, but um, you know, football moves on, and it is what it is. And of course, we're getting that player, and hopefully, you guys just invest it right, um, because obviously, that's the that's the main problem. Um, but yeah, uh, it looks like they're looking for houses. It looks like Bayern are going to put in a new bid. He doesn't want to stay at Tottenham anymore. Uh, and that basically is the update. If you guys have enjoyed, smash the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. I've got another video coming later. I've got a stream coming later. The channel don't stop. Uh, we are the most consistent Bayern Munich channel. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you could share it to anyone that would enjoy it, make sure to do that also. But yeah, big up to everyone. Thank you so much for the constant support. Um, generally, it means a lot. And um, until then, I'll see you guys maybe in a couple of hours for another video. We will be live. Massive live stream coming up later tonight. Please check that out. Uh, and um, yeah, till then, thank you for watching. Mia Samia, peace out. Uh, have a great day, guys. And um, hopefully we'll see Harry Kane with the number nine shirt on his back very, very soon.